My life be like. My life be like. Hello everyone, this is Nicole from Zurich Farm and we are putting a side to the shelter for the goats. Have my daughter Allie helping me. Get a video of her putting in one of these uh, metal screws. So I've already marked a hole. It's right there. She dropped it. There you go. I, this is my first day doing this and I'm already really good at it. <laughs> Screw that in quite good enough. There we go. There you go, good job. And did you hear them? Yep. And just get like put one right there. Getting everything ready for the winter. If you don't know, this year I'm going to be in 4-H. Yep. I'm going to be showing a bunch of goats. And then put oh, one boy. at the very bottom. Okay. Right here? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm only going to be showing weather goats. I'm not supposed to get attached to it or I'm going to be crying when I have to get rid of it yep. or sell it. We are going to have to come up with a name for your weather though. Um, I thought... Yeah, I know, but whenever you enter them in, they'll call out um, you and your weather by its name. Okay, okay, that... Well, if I'm getting the one that I want, if if they have the one that I want, which is going to be a black-headed traditional goat, then then I'm going to be probably going to call it black. Probably, yeah, I'm, black is a pretty good name, so then I don't get attached to it. Hello, black. Okay, I'm going to get a good shot of both of these together so here's one shelter right here and then right beside it we have that one that was a nicer one it's kind of rustic now <laughs> who doesn't like a rustic shelter
makes it look um, homemade. Isn't that already homemade? Say bye. Bye. We have a lot of these totes for sale. Um, I made a shelter for the bucklings out of them. I'll show you that in just a minute, but if y'all are interested in buying any of these, let me know. So I made this out of one of the totes that we have. Plenty of room in there for the three bucklings. I have a bunch of hay in there. Not too shabby. Bucklings are getting big. Extremely proud of Dunn did it. Really nice muscling. So today is day five, and she's walking on her foot. She's still limping, but she's doing a lot better. Um, the swelling's gone down a whole lot. She's putting a lot more pressure on it. I'm still giving her the shot of um, LA-200 once a day and uh, continuing with the bleach water and copper tox and iodine. Nope. Hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> My bad. I have squirted iodine on it, but I'll catch her and uh, give you a view of her foot, a close up on it. As you can see, the swelling has gone down, and uh, the tissue in between her foot is finally growing back and looking pretty good. Minus all the stuff that I really don't want to say what that is. <laughs> it's poop. But looking a lot better. So a quick update. I don't think that she's going to be completely healed on day seven, but um, we're improving. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much.